Hi, this is Mike Chupp, and I'm a missionary surgeon at Penwick Hospital and also the medical director. My wife Pam and I have been home in the U.S. this year because our oldest two kids, Stephen and Melody, uh, pictured there in this family picture, have both started university. Um, and uh, Kayla and Ashley, our two youngest, who were born in Kenya, are attending school at uh, Grace Christian School here locally. Pam and I have been uh, married for 24 years. We've been at Penwick now for 19 years, and uh, our family calls Kenya home. We together do a children's Bible quizzing ministry, which is a lot of fun. It wasn't why we went to Kenya, but we see God growing this program. See uh, Pam and her team uh, with their medals displayed there and a picture of the entire Kenwick program. We have another site where another 150 children are involved. In the top right-hand corner is uh, Dorcas, who was our top quizzer this last year. Uh, we give out medals for kids who memorize 60, 40, or 20 verses from the book that we're studying. And kids love to get medals. The Kenyans are very motivated. A picture there is Pam's team again. And uh, the trophies and medals and ribbons that we hand out for those who work hard to memorize or teams that win. This year, in our absence, uh, some other missionaries have carried on with the program. They're studying the book of Matthew, and their theme is Seeking God's Kingdom. Uh, we're uh, very grateful uh, that God has given us this uh, ministry to do together as husband and wife. On our great big world, uh, Kenya is right there in the uh, in the heart of Africa, and Africa is at the heart of the world. Um, where is Kenya? It's in, it's in southwest Kenya, uh, about three hours' drive from the capital uh, city of Nairobi. Pretty good roads, a very fertile area in the South Rift Valley, highly populated, uh, with about three to five million people who would call Kenya Hospital their uh, home. We're only about 90-minute drive from the Maasai Mara, a game park where some of God's most beautiful creation animals can be found. Our motto, um, our mission statement at Timok Hospital is we're a Christian community committed to excellence in compassionate health care, spiritual ministry, and training for service. All three of those are motivating factors for us and our 700-plus staff. You get a view of, there of our administrative wing, outpatient entrance, and our uh, operating theater medical ed education building in the background. Our spiritual ministry has been a huge emphasis. We believe that we've uh, kept the main thing, the main thing, and God blessed this ministry and uh, continued to grow it. We have 10 full-time trained chaplains who are often pastors of churches uh, on the weekends, two full-time staff pastors, a man and a woman for our 700-plus staff. All of our staff have a Christian testimony and are born again. We see uh, anywhere from one to 2,000 decisions every year for Christ, people giving their hearts to Christ, patients and their family members, or visitors. We also have a unique chaplaincy training program, a one-of-a-kind program, a two-year diploma, which trains uh, pastors to become hospital, prison, military, and school chaplains uh, in Kenya. We have a big team, a lot of World Gospel Mission missionaries. Those of us who are there long-term are with WGM headquartered from Marion, Indiana. Families, singles, couples, um, we've got a, a wonderful contingent of missionaries from all over the United States. We're joined by missionaries from Samaritan's Purse who are doing a fellowship for two years at Tenwick, and we are there to mentor these young doctors in various specialties. Uh, you see these uh, docs. We've been doing this program now for about four years, and we're actually a very popular site for Samaritan's Purse fellows to come and serve with us for two years under mentorship of long-term WG missionary doctors. We have several new doctors coming with WGM uh, this year. Seven uh, have either just arrived or are coming this year or next. You see there's seven uh, docs in various specialties who are planning to come, so we feel blessed that young docs are still feeling called by God to come join us and increase our staff. Well, my first years in, uh, in the 90s, I went to Timic in 1996 as a general surgeon anticipating a career of doing uh, general surgery. Uh, alone and maybe doing some teaching, and within a couple of years I found myself uh, uh, very much um, in uh, working in the administrative uh, aspect of leading the medical staff as the medical superintendent, my title. In those first years we had a pretty small staff. You see there on the right, uh, I was doing as much clinical medicine as I could, 50 to 60 percent of my time doing uh, clinical medicine and the rest as the medical director. Um, in recent years, uh, oh, pictured there is myself in my earliest years behind the med soup desk and our management committee there. 
composed mainly of, of national staff with the head of the nursing school and myself as the missionary. And uh, this job hasn't been temporary. Uh, I just finished, as I said, my eighth or ninth year last year when we came home. And that job has become more and more my focus with about 90% uh, of my time being administrative uh, management role and about 10% clinical taking call, teaching residents, doing rounds with the residents in the morning. And the hospital continues to grow in technology and in facilities uh, and in staff. Our medical staff now looks like this last summer. Um, about 70 white coats pictured there, uh, consultant level physicians, junior medical officers, residents in training, uh, clinical officers, respiratory therapists, all of those white coats pictured. It was a really great celebration we had uh, this day that we took this picture around the entrance to the hospital. Our backbone of, of clinical care at the hospital are very committed, highly trained, uh, as the Kenyans say, consultants uh, pictured here. I can never capture them all, but this is a, a strong backbone of committed people, um, committed to clinical care, committed to a spiritual ministry for our patients. And we want to see this mix become more and more nationalized. Uh, that's one of our goals over time. And as I go back to Kenya this fall, uh, one of the reasons that we've been able to uh, recruit and get people excited about coming is because of growing training programs. Pictures seen here uh, show us the uh, up in the upper left hand is our surgery department with all of our residents, the 12 to 14 residents pictured there with a large contingent of uh, women uh, residents, one of the largest contingents of female surgical residents, certainly in Kenya and possibly Africa. Uh, so Kenya is... Uh, slowly coming along in terms of advancing the cause of women in, in medicine. And uh, Tim makes a, a big part of that. We have a family medicine residency picture there on the right, and then an internship program um, on the bottom right, which is our oldest program, 17 years now. And we've finished well over 100 interns over those years, medical officers who've been distributed all over Kenya as, after they finished the year at Kenway. We're very pleased and feel privileged to be part of the PACS program, Pan-African Academy of Christian Surgeons. Its goal is to train Africans in surgery in Africa, not in the West, and to have them stay in Africa to provide care. The vision for the program is to uh, graduate 100 surgeons by 2020. Um, and we are well on the way, should be uh, predicted now, uh, for the uh, nine programs in Africa, as we will have graduated 100 general surgeons in a five-year program by 2019. And as we do this training, we want to emphasize to them and try to give them a passion and a picture for taking care uh, to places where there aren't enough surgeons. There's not enough uh, clinical care for the people. Uh, and you see this picture. This is our first graduate, Agneta, holding the big end of the tree, and nine uh, residents and maybe an attending or two holding the small end of the tree. And what this picture is is the fact that we have many surgeons in the urban areas of Africa, but in the rural areas, large areas with large populations, we have few surgeons. And so the, the, our goal of our program is to train these surgeons and to put them in places where they're most needed. They actually are bonded in our program, uh, salaries paid, uh, and they serve for at least five years, and we hope beyond in an underserved place in Kenya or East Africa. Dr. O'Dara is pictured here with one of her patients. Um, and we couldn't have picked a better uh, first resident to go through our program. She took a step of faith in joining our program. And she's now awaiting entrance into a pediatric surgery training program in South Africa. And will be returning to Tenwick to be our first national pediatric surgeon on staff after that fellowship. Our two chief residents this last year who graduated in just two months ago, uh, Elijah and Jack, are both serving in Kenya, one in a mission hospital and one actually at the Aga Khan Hospital in his hometown. Uh, we're sure Jack's going to be a great witness in that uh, town of Kisumu, in his hometown, um, in a setting where there are a, a lot of non-Christians, where he's providing surgical services. What we believe, we treat and Jesus heals is our motto. Um, and that's been our motto for well over 50 years. And this is what every patient and their family see as they enter Timwick Hospital. And we are hoping that the We Treat is small 
in emphasis and the Jesus heals is large in emphasis. Caring in Christ's name, uh, many people have shared over the years that the hands are kind at Fenwick, and more and more those hands are Kenyan hands and, and fewer and fewer um, percentage of missionary hands. We tell in Jesus uh, Saves, Dr. Gallick, our head of our orthopedic department there, praying with a patient who was a Muslim man to accept Jesus Christ uh, after he fixed the fracture in his femur. Our general surgery graduation, as I mentioned, was in January. We train in Jesus Calls. Uh, residents are all Christians, born-again believers who are screened, uh, and then do their residency for five years. Two of the residents pictured here are actually orthopedic surgery residents. We started that program last year, and it's now in its second year, a five-year training program uh, because of the great need for Christian orthopedic surgeons in Kenya and Africa. Our, our big vision for the near future, uh, these arrows depict outreach from Timbuk Hospital, the green arrows from the Africa Gospel Church. I just got off the phone a few, a few minutes ago with the bishop of the Africa Gospel Church who's visiting the U.S., and he's very excited about how we can partner with the national church to, to take medical outreach in camps to places where Africa Gospel Church missionaries are already working in remote parts of northern and southeastern Kenya. And World Gospel Mission, the mission that I'm with, uh, is partnering with the help in staffing and in funding, resourcing, uh, to make these outreaches work all across East Africa. Well, Timwick has asked us to, to build a home because of the uh, crunch in housing uh, by many new missionaries coming. They've asked us to build a home, and we've already raised nearly $25,000 of $100,000 needed. Uh, just this week, a long-term support of our ministry has offered to give a matching gift up to $40,000 uh, for gifts given between now and June, July of 2015. So we're uh, asking you to consider uh, uh, giving a gift toward this house, which will allow us to move out of our larger house uh, and a family with m many more children as we're becoming empty nesters, we can move to a smaller home that we're building and another missionary can uh, take over our house. Uh, this is our support page at WGM for anyone who's uh, interested um, to, uh, to give or uh, donate to our ministry. This is our support page, www.wgm.org forward slash chup. And we have a, a blog, kenyachups.blogspot.com which you can go to, and we try to post to this blog at least once a month. And uh, we also, both Pam and I are on Facebook, and our email, long-term email is kenyachups at yahoo.com. I want to thank Southwestern Medical Clinic uh, for the incredible support uh, as individuals, doctors uh, in the clinic have helped us, uh, the de surgery department, which has been so flexible and allowed me to, to come back and fit in and practice surgery. Uh, with Drs. Winslow, Klein, and Jeffers, um, and the foundation, because the foundation has been huge in helping us with some building projects, including a project nearing completion, the building of a trainee dorm to house 36 uh, uh, trainees, interns, and residents, uh, and it's scheduled to be completed this summer. The foundation gave very generously uh, to that project and is one of the reasons why that project is nearing completion. Uh, God bless. Um, the Southwestern Medical Clinic and Foundation. Uh, we're here in Michigan because of Southwestern Medical Clinic.